Like, at what point does sugar become bad? Is it bad now? Is it bad once you squeeze it? Is it bad once you dry it? Hi, Blue. Free with Blue, because her and her sister just showed up. All the even the <laughs> it's going right up there. Until about a week ago, I didn't even know how coconuts grow. I, it never crossed my mind. How does a coconut become a tree? Like a coconut palm. Yeah, I just I saw coconuts on a tree and I ate them. Mm -hmm. But it never occurred to me how they grow. It's amazing. Like in the clusters, yeah. It's a coconut is the tree. I mean. It produces year-round too, it's not like there's a season. And every month it puts out a new flower cluster and a leaf. So you can just go back in time and count in the spiral of the coconut. These are when they're their oldest, but we have some in the front yard so you can look at those younger ones. The best ones to drink are the young ones. Yeah. And then they... But these you're growing into trees, Into right? sprouts, yes. Yeah. So right. our neighbor, she's got these really good Fiji dwarfs, which Nick has in the backyard. Yeah. And so I do tree work for her in exchange for the coconut. They're all from dwarfs. And what's the numbering? Of oh, the date. Ah, right. And usually, I don't have to do the year because they sprout within four months. I've never heard of the dwarf ones where you can just pick it like that. It's yeah. so much more convenient. Yeah. I think just over many millennia, they were just selected, you know, mm. where that tree was a little shorter. So, yeah. And then they do start to show those characteristics. It's amazing. Never seen anything like it. It's like a coconut freak, a freak of nature. <laughs> I don't know if you tried much breadfruit. Uh, I made the mistake of trying one that probably wasn't ripe, and I cut it open, and I just went, oh, and God. it was like biting into glue. Oh, yeah, his yeah. face. She's like, oh, wow. So uh, it's, it's I learned that lesson. Raw if they're ripe. It's like a, a real ripe banana. This is the variety called Ma'afala. And people yes, say they're like potatoes, right? Yeah, potatoes, like potatoes on a tree. French fries, pancakes, wow. um, cereal, anything. It's like all the carbohydrates. That was a big breakthrough was seeing that you can make like tortilla chips and compare that to a corn tortilla chip and yeah. what it takes to make that and get it to the grocery store and how you can just make chips with this and some <laughs> coconut oil. It's Yeah, it's really nice. Amazing. Uh, let's show you the front. Yeah. So this is Anthony. Yeah. We hey haven't guys. done a proper introduction. Yeah, my name's of Grow Paradise. Anthony, growparadise.com. I was formerly known as the raw model in the raw vegan days and moved out to Hawaii. Uh, about five years ago and just been doing the food forest permaculture thing out here with Nick on the big island. So we do a lot of fruit tree grafting, durians, mango, avocado, oh. um, that's the main stuff that you graft. Um, citrus, air, you can do a thing called air layering, a lot of other stuff called air layering. We'll show you over there. There's How long does it take to get like a little tree like this to be a big tree that produces fruit? If you plant it from seed, 15 to 20 years. Wow. Bummer. If we have a grafted one, yeah. five to seven. Ah, yeah. so you're saving time by... You're saving time, you know the fruit quality is going to be good. It's, it's is good that though. basically like grafting is almost like you stick a branch in the soil? I mean, in a no, basic... That would be like cuttings. Where wow. grafting would be, you can see the, the, the scar right there. You make an incision in, in the seedling and then you put the scion into that incision and you tie it up oh. and then hopefully it heals it connects and now i'm doing a thing called in our team where you do two seedlings together and then fuse them and then eventually we'll take one of them off and then graft on top of that <laughs> so you get the two in one they do that in thailand a lot you'll be going through these durian orchards and you'll see two, like it's like a v upside down v going into this one tree uh, yeah, so a big transition from New York City. I, it was a, a good time for me there because I was raw vegan. I was, you know, exploring, you know, the city and trying all these different things. Actually, I was a dumpster diver for quite a few years. Yeah, just uh, freegan. I was a freegan. I was a <laughs> proud freegan. I felt like I was living off of the. It was, I mean, kale and apples and just making the craziest green smoothies. Ooh, 
he always likes to climb on the <laughs> on the durians if I stand nearby. <laughs> but it, it was uh, it was city life. But I always knew that the country life was the way to go. So I was just saving my money. That was another part of the freedom was just save every penny mm. and put it into a homestead so you can liberate yourself later. So you can live off the land, plant a ton of fruit trees, you know, go solar, and then you don't have any bills. So you just you never you kind of never went back. You didn't like hop back and forth. I did or... hop back and forth. Okay, you did. At first, I thought I could make more money if I went back and forth. Yeah, and I was so That's unhappy I wanted... living back in the city again right. that it wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> it, it was worth making less out here and just being so so much happier. You know, yeah. it's hard to go back. So um, in 2017, I fully made the switch, and yeah, I planted some of these trees. Like th that tree back there was planted in 2017. Yeah, it's super big. I mean, big things grow super fast out here. Let's have a look. These are all the once these coconuts get a little bit older, we put them in the grow bags. Okay. And then that buys it some more time. So this you planted when you arrived, kind yeah, of? Yeah, this was like September 2017. <laughs> and I've pruned out the middle so much. I mean, this is, imagine what you can do with a bare piece of land in Hawaii. You can, you can transform it. Like, you can fix erosion, all this stuff with the, everything. I mean, every problem can be fixed with planting trees. And so what's that's going on here? That's what, uh, there's a better close up here with the roots coming through. You can see these roots. Oh, so you can make a whole new plant from it? Yep. Oh, I know what you mean. So this is full of dirt. Mm -hmm. So the the branch starts to sprout roots. Yeah. And then you just chop it off. Another term is marcotting. And then once that fills up a little bit more, we'll cut it. And then, yep, it's a brand new tree. That's amazing. Making new trees out of branches. Yeah. And that saves you how many years, do you guesstimate? Oh, um, it's probably two years at least. I mean, you can get right here. That's a root sprout. And if we were to cut that and put that in the pot, it would roughly the same amount of time. Usually with breadfruit, that's how they're propagated. It's either root shoots or mm -hmm. if someone knows how to do the air layers. And then, because um, they don't really put out a lot of seeds. It's not a seedy fruit. I highly recommend checking out the Breadfruit Co-op and eatbreadfruit.com. Because <laughs> there's so much about breadfruit. It really could, uh, as far as the the lack of inputs needed to produce so many calories compared to regular grains and is it like the most producing fruit tree pretty much like the most calories per tree hard to say but just as far as a useful carbohydrate that people yeah. would never get sick of right. you know a lot of people are big on jackfruits and making jackfruit uh, yeah I was thinking that's one of the biggest it is you know but breadfruit is so versatile with making French fries and flowers and maybe they do with jackfruit flowers now but um, I, I just love it. And it's a beautiful tree and it produces at a really young age and yeah, it's easy to propagate. So. What are these? These Is are mango avocado, or avocado That's right. My girlfriend has a connection with a green papaya salad lady in town, so she gives us all the avocado seeds once a week. And oh, wow. we plug you can see how it's bags. coming like you can see that that used to be an avocado. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> Alright, we can wait. And uh, it's been so nice to connect with Nick out here because Nick shares the vision of growing paradise. Like, really, I feel like that's the answer. Spinach or bailey. Uh, awesome. I like so it, it is cooked. just like spinach? Yeah, yeah. People can eat it raw, but I prefer it cooked. And it's just like spinach. You can do all kinds of stuff. Oh, I should put some in my smoothie. Oh, it's insane. I've been missing out on my greens. And it grows like a... I mean, it's nuts. It can really transform an area. And just by cuttings, you don't need seeds or anything. And it's, well, obviously it's all year round. Like in England, we have something yeah. perpetual spinach, it's called. It's a bit like a beetroot family. Yeah. It keeps coming. But yeah. obviously this keeps coming, like, looks yeah, like a tree, cool. some of them. And what happens if you pluck a leaf, it just keeps coming back, right? Yeah, those new shoots will come out there. Yeah. yeah. So this right here is sugar cane? Yeah. Sugar this is what everyone's afraid of. I'm afraid of the sugar. The sugar. No, it's uh, sugar's bad. It's completely untrue. I mean, this is such a high level. I mean, it's raw sugar for one, and then it's grown organically. Uh, the color we we juice it mostly with the skin, so you're getting all the antioxidants from the skin, and uh, it's it's an amazing. I was into fruit trees for a long time. I still am, but once mm. I discovered sugar cane, you just it, and there's so many different varieties. So somehow you squeeze the juice out. That's basically what you do, yeah, right? You run it through a press. I started with a hand crank and then we graduated to a, 
an electric machine one and it's so much better. So it's like at what point does sugar become bad? Is it bad now? Is it bad once you squeeze it? Is it bad once you dry it? Well, maybe it's not bad. Or this is about maybe a year old. So it'll... Oh, all this is just one year? Yep. <laughs> Unlimited sugar. People have said to me like, oh, I've got chickens in the backyard. Like, you know, they're not factory chickens. Couldn't you eat those? And I'm like, you know, the eggs. And I'm like, well, I could, but I don't need to eat eggs. Like, yeah. I'm fine with all my yeah, if, avocados and thing. coconuts and whatever. Like, I don't think it's necessary. Right. Without. As a nutritional thing or a... Or a As a nutritional thing. Oh, okay. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, forget the ethical thing. That's why I'm saying, yeah. like, don't worry about that. Just think, like, do I need eggs? And the answer is no. Yeah, yeah. Can, <laughs> like, I source the can a human being survive without eggs? And the answer is yeah. Hard to live anywhere else just because of the lack of avocados <laughs> or coconuts. Yeah, yes. I'm amazed how many different coconuts there are. Yeah, like the neighbors have this dwarf tree. I'll get a shot of it. It's like not much taller than you, Venusia's. But it's holding go, like yeah. so many coconuts. Yeah, like, I've never seen anything like it. It's like yeah, you should film it. Half its height in coconuts. Yeah. Like, what an incredible tree that is. Just see how many coconuts are on it. <laughs> All easy to reach. <laughs> One of these can give you a half gallon because yeah. they're so tall. So if that yeah. was full height, you're in gallon range for sure. <laughs> Drunk a gallon of juice a day before. Yeah. It gave me a little bit of tooth sensitivity. I could usually get by on a half gallon a day. If you rinse your teeth though, that's, that's more of a teeth. hygiene yes. thing. Yes, rinsing. Yeah. How are your teeth? They're looking good on the camera or whatever, but what's going on with all the fruit and the sugar? And I say, well, after I eat, I rinse my mouth with water it's or huge. I just eat one huge meal and then brush my teeth afterwards. Yeah. And I'm only really eating once a day, so yeah. twenty hours a day. Yeah. My mouth's just clean. Yeah. So it's a hygiene thing. People want to blame the sugar. Oh, the sugar, it rots your teeth. No, it's the rinse. hygiene, not the sugar. Yeah. That's the problem. Like I spoke to a dentist and he said, the only way tooth enamel or cavities and all that, you know, erode and you can have problems is there has to be some bacteria for something the bacteria yeah. to feed on. If the teeth are clean, yeah. they'll last forever. New trees. Such a simple way to do it too with the tin foil. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen, products that are for sale you know they clip on oh yeah yeah but how much easier is it to just wrap some tin foil and some yeah dirt i get the uh the inflatable peat pellets that like absorb the water right and then you just with a knife cut it like a little burrito or something and put it around the stem and then the foil yeah. so each one is like 20 cents the key look at them to papayas is drainage and they're so fragile they don't like to be uh transplanted after like maybe a month of age so they like to be direct seeded on a slope with a lot of black cinder because we have a lot of clay up uh. here on the kilo so i used to plant them just like you know a fruit tree and then they grow for a little bit and then they get all this white scale and die uh. so it's the slope with the cinder it's like some of the biggest there. papayas i've seen yeah like this yeah, whoppers good. look at that yeah. proper long ones there it's yeah, a real long one. one. And this one is way more dense. We were thinking it was going to be good for green papaya salad, but it's just so dense that it doesn't have that um, kind of, it's like kind of chewy almost compared to like a crispy yeah. So it's, it's really drainage and is it the soil? Like do you put anything special on the base, you know, to, to fertilize it? Oh. I will sprinkle it to with feed the organic it. fertilizer yeah. uh, of different kinds and maybe a little bit of agricultural lime. And how long to get... Look at the size of that. That's the thing about papayas is that it only takes... This is really about nine months old. Really? These ones down that way are like six months old. If they're in the ground early and you've got all the, the drainage, the fertilizer, they produce so fast. It's probably one of the best trees for fruit lovers. and. and so you can have fruit within a year and a half? Oh, yeah, in For Hawaii sure. within nine months. Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And all year round? Yeah, all year round, that, that too. I would recommend, though, get, getting seeds from a good company that has the good genetics. 
um, because you can have a nice fruit with this and then I'll plant that seed and it's going to turn out to be random. You know? Oh, so right. It's not true to seed. So you got yeah. to be... I, that's what I would have thought is like, yeah. oh, this is a big one. So I'll plant these seeds and it'll yeah, be a yeah. big one. It's, you know, not, maybe if, if not necessarily. If there weren't the other ones available, I'd say, it, of course, mm. but alohaseed.com and they're in Vista, California. If you're ever back in Southern California, okay. I would go visit them because they've got great genetics and they mail the seeds out here. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's been nice because you can get different stuff that normally they don't sell at the farmer's market. There's no tricks with all the grafting and whatever like this. Is there a way to even speed it up? Um, with papayas, you can make air layers once you get those side branches coming. Oh, yeah. You can put a little bag of that stuff. Yeah. So it. then you could, how how quick could you get to fruit if you made a little branch thing? It's pretty fast. There's some stuff on YouTube where it's like these little things and there's fruit on them. And it's, yeah, it's pretty right. good. And then now Rich, Nick's guy, has been doing that crazy stuff in the front with the, the Japanese lantern oh, yeah. with the waterfall. Yeah, more and development. So, yeah, it's going to go into this little pond where we'll have some fish and we'll plant some fruit trees along this for more shade. And and this is a dwarf. It's more of a semi-dwarf, but... Um, <laughs> Good jump, little cat friend. <laughs> Life serves the risk taker. That's for sure. He who dares wins, is what we say in England. Yeah. I've never heard life serves the risk taker. Yeah. So that's the American version. Yeah, I think I guess. <laughs> he who dares wins. Yeah. Have fun. You gotta. That's, yeah, one thing about Nick is the persistence. Yeah. Of just like so tenacity. inspirational tenacity <laughs> and persistence. It's crazy. It wouldn't be Sebcam without the pancakes. <laughs> And some amazing fruits. I've never tried this. Don't even know what it is. A new collagen. Thank you very much. Collagen builder from Nick. I'll have a closer look at this in a minute. I've been looking up uh, things that build collagen, vegan things. It seems like you've already done it. Oh, one yeah. step ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Well, I'm going to the gym. Oh, what this is? Yeah, you write it all down. Yeah, I actually have a diary. I'll show, actually show it. I take it from here. So you're still hitting the workouts hard. <laughs> I'm going to be hitting them harder after you came. Really? I've got to step up my game. <laughs> so yeah, it's my logbook. Here's what I did last workout. You class. take this with you to the gym? No, no, no. When I come back. All oh, right. So wow. um, today's leg day. Uh huh. So leg day, I did uh, 16 plates times 12 reps. I'm going to throw another plate on there. <laughs> that sounds heavy. I'm going, to, I'm going to actually try to work back up to a thousand pound leg presses for reps. I don't think I could do like one of those. I can't get any more room. On here with That's the ridiculous. Now could, today, today, since I got 12 reps with this, yeah. anytime I get 10 or more, I throw another plate on. So ideally I want to get plates, keeps going up here. Now I'll have 20 plates, which would be like a thousand pounds. Maybe step up my game. So. Well, I don't you. reckon I could do even one of them. I would just push on it and it would be like, it wouldn't even move. I work up to that. I don't start with that weight. I, I start you have to warm up. plates on, I keep doing the reps, warming. But I have one true set. The one true set is I always want to progress. And if I can't beat last workout, did I progress or did I rest enough? Did I eat properly? Right. And that's the whole theory about progression. So that's kind of my gig. And I'm loading up my Little gym bag. My gym bag and my water. I'm heading out today. Oh, I left you a cacao thing. I thought you might like that. I don't think I'm going oh, to cool. eat yes. something fun. Absolutely. All righty then. This is so cool. I was actually looking for a plant-based collagen. I was genuinely Googling it. And I didn't really know what one to buy or what one to trust. No hooves, no horns, no hides. Yeah, you don't have to get it from animals. Hydrochloronic acid, kale and spinach, peptides from rice, minerals, silica, hear all about that one, spirulina, this mushroom, I never heard of that, tremola mushroom, biotin, awesome, it's very cool so nice to have a 
unlimited supply of this stuff. I'll be pushing thousands of pounds soon. Okay, this is a Mami Sapote. Mame Sapote. They make it into ice cream and milkshakes. That sounds amazing. Whoa, look at the seed. There's some big seed in there. Cheers. This is thanks to Anthony. Thank you, Anthony, giving me this one. How do I describe this? Similar to egg fruit, like a sweet potato kind of consistency. But even sweeter. I suppose the description of pumpkin pie is pretty close. It tastes like a, a sweet potato that's had sugar added to it. Very thick filling consistency like those egg fruits. A sweet potato roasted in brown sugar. I've been wearing this headband probably since 1972. The same one? Well, I keep getting them as well, they grow you, Right, okay, yeah. But it's part of my ritual. I believe kind of have certain things like a ritual, the way I record stuff. And this, I never have a bad workout. I always go in there. I might not feel like going there, mm -hmm. but once I get in here, this is, represents the warrior mentality. So uh, that's my ritual. Yeah. For you, I believe you're a warrior, man. Uh, so warrior. I kind of want to give you something between us. I think you yeah. a little something on your when you have some free time. Some warrior stuff here. I want you to keep. You got the camera off. This is kind of a secret uh -huh. thing. Okay, so, okay. So this is a gift. When you have the time, read it and kind of keep it to ourselves. Okay. All right, my brother. What, so what is it? It's some knowledge. I'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Some knowledge that's been passed on to me. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think you're uh, ready for that. And, in your, and your journey. It's going to make your journey stronger in everything you do. Uh, like I said, uh, give me a hug. Safe. Give me a hug, my brother. I'm going to go work out. Thank you're going to be hitting the road. Thank you for everything. So, uh, yeah, I'll put this safe. I've got like a waterproof thing. I'll put it in my pocket. Yeah. So I'm going to be following your journey. Thank you so much. I'll see you again. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> I have to come back to get the camera. It's very... <laughs> and we're off. <laughs> Bye, Dan. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Amazing. That's like the coolest place ever. Paradise. The most friendly, lovely people. And all this fruit, papayas, coconuts, endless smiles. <sighs> Good to get going again. Look at that for some breadfruits. Look at the size of those trees. I see why they prune them now so that they're shorter. I don't know if you can get the scale of that, but those are towering like 50 feet high breadfruit trees. <laughs> Fruits up there if you want to go climb and get it. 
I guess that's why Anthony was saying they prune them so they go out sideways and you keep cutting the middle so it doesn't shoot up. Just keep branching out, putting all its energy into going sideways. <sighs> Feels good to be on the move. Believe it or not, that is bamboo. <laughs> look at the size of it, look. Whoop. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. I had to stop, I was running by and then I was like, hang on, is that bamboo? It's a big one. It'd be a mistake if you planted that in your garden and then you were like, oh, don't. Tonight, take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cows! <laughs> yeah! Good evening and welcome to the BBC's news taken out of context. And now they're like this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. More bad news on the way.